Hey everybody, Turtle here, and I am very excited to bring you this video. Uh, for the past six months, I believe Hidden Fates came out in August, late August. So almost for six months, we've been trying to put together this Hidden Fates binder, and it's finally done. Um, we pulled almost all the cards. I had to buy, I think, like six cards off the secondary market uh, when they had some cash back deal. But without further ado, I bring you my Hidden Fates binder collection, not using the word master set because I didn't include all the commons and uncommons and reverses. So here we go. But there is a little, some, little something extra at the end. So here we go. We're starting with the Hidden Fates set. And so I didn't include all the comments on comments again, reverses. I just kind of went with all the GXs and then the full art supporters, the or the rocket supporters. And then we have the one singleton secret rare for the Hidden Fate set. And then here we have the promos, uh, starting with the pin collections. The actually the number order is kind of weird, but I went with the order of release date. So starting with the pin collections, then the tins, uh, the ball collections, and then the premium collection with the shiny Rayquaza in gold cards. And here we have the shiny vault series, starting with all the nine GX shinies. So all of our, op all of our Hidden Fates openings have been building up to this moment. Although, yeah, we didn't pull everything, but we pulled almost all the cards and we did manage to pull a couple Charizards on this channel. And here we have the shinies, the GX shinies. But wait, there's an empty spot. And that is for the shiny Charizard. And we did, again, we did pull a number of these and actually did purchase one as well. However, I'm still not sure which ones I want to save for the binder collection versus sending to PSA. So here are three copies of it, just to say that we do, we did complete the set. All right, but then here we have the rest of the GXs. And we got another one. This is the Umbreon, which I believe this one is very well centered as well. So, and I think this one would be a nice to have as part of our PSA collection. But then here we have the rest of the shiny GXs. And then we're moving on to the full art supporters. Fisherman, pull this like in almost every language it was printed, except English. So I had to buy that one. And then we have the gold cards. The only ones I pulled for gold are, I pulled like three Bulus and one Coco. I had to purchase these two. And so that's all, that's it for the Hidden Fates set. However, you know, I could have fit all the commons and uncommons, but I figured, you know what, a, I think a cooler binder collection would be is the Japanese set, Ultra Shiny GX. Man, I was such a huge fan of this. And we did open a bunch of these boxes before Hidden Fates came out. And their order is a bit different. So their set was 150 cards and then there's 101 secret rares starting with these full art supporters. And you notice that these have the, I don't know what they're called, I'm calling the hat ladies, which they didn't have in the English set. So the sets do uh, differ a little bit. And then the last hat lady, Nita. And then back to the non shiny GXs, I believe this part is entirely the same. And yeah, so we completed both sets in both languages. Probably not going to do any other ones like the Korean. Actually, uh, probably not, but maybe something we'll tackle at some point is the Korean. And I believe this is printed in Chinese as well. Actually, that would be kind of cool to complete the entire shiny set in all languages. But for now, we have the English and Japanese. Definitely would be the highest on our list as far as priorities go. And this one, I don't mind having the Charizard in here. Actually, the Japanese Charizard was pretty cheap, so I have a handful of them that I could still send to PSA. And then we have all the same exact cards. The one difference, one interesting difference, is that the Japanese set comes with one extra, which is kind of like a uh, 251, so he ends up on his own page, and that is the Ultra Necrozma. I'm guessing the reason they didn't print this in English, which I kind of, if this is the reason I completely support is there was this card in Dragon's Majesty and reprinting it uh, would kind of make that card less valuable. So I'm fine with that. I'm guessing maybe this wasn't printed in Japanese, so they finally made it. 
But uh, yeah, that's it for my binder collection, our Hidden Fade slash Ultra Shiny GX. Uh, we do have a couple slots left, but not enough to fit like the Korean or Chinese, I'm guessing. But so I'm not sure what we'll do with these last few pages, but that's my binder collection. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching and joining me on this six-month adventure to put all this together. It's definitely my favorite modern set. And the only set that I've kind of put dedicated to a binder, other than that, everything is just kind of like random in my trade binder. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.